Hi guys, welcome back again. This is Master David Chen from Malaysia. Today, I'm going to share with you the seventh episode, part two of Bedroom Feng Shui with another 10 more tips. Besides than just your bed position and location, which facing direction you must also be careful. Not too much brightness inside, but of course, you must have fresh air circulation on and off. That means every day when you wake up in the morning, try to open your window to receive some fresh air. And also recommended to put an air purifier to refresh the air all the time. And also you must need to have some natural sunlight that travel into your room as well. So you cannot close up your room completely with curtains or doors all the time as you will not receive positive chi. Of course, in the night time, everyone needs to retire for the night and really take a good rest and get the chi in the morning. So as to get your energy generated. Besides than this, we have another 10 more tips about this bedroom feng shui. Number 1. Avoid combined two single beds. Never have two single beds combined together for husband and wife to sleep on, as this will cause a vertical cut line within the two parties and thus will easily cause separation. So it's best to get a full bed which is for two pets, maybe like a queen size bed or king size bed. Number two, never have two single beds that join horizontally together. As you will form a line that cuts across the back of the person who will sleep there. So this person will have problems over the back part or even abdominal part and easily might get surgery as well. So same goes, get a bed which is either queen size or a king size. Number 3. Bed without headboard Will means that you don't have strong benefactors that support you. So try to get a bed that have hip board to stabilize your head so that you will be more focused, thus you will have better opportunities and also you will have more positive on what you intend to do. So head board is a very necessary to support your head for bedroom furniture. Number 4 two side tables beside your bed. Of course, you cannot get a high side table rack whereby it forms a cut over the neck of a person's body. As you will hurt in long term, you will have health issues as well. Either neck pain, shoulder pain or pain over your arms area. So try to get two side tables which is lower than the bed. Number 5. Side tables work as your supporter. The side tables work as your supporters as well. Like I say, the headboard is your benefactor and left and right tables is actually your supporter. If you have left tables beside your bed, you will tend to get male supporter. If you have right tables beside your bed, you will tend to get female supporter. If you have both at the same time, you will get both male and female to support you. Number 6. Never get your main bed attached with another small bed. Never get your main bed, which is your queen size or king size bed, beside you attached with another small bed. Sometimes people like to make it easy for themselves by placing their child to be either on the left or right. But of course, if you have an extra bed that attached closely to your main bed, it will also form a third party that comes in. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! When there are a small bed that attach over your left side, usually the woman will have a affair with men. When you have another extra bed that is attached to your right side, the man will have another third party come into their life. So watch out for that. Must be very careful, try not to join the main bed. Number 7. Avoid place down the mattress on the ground or floor directly. Never ever get a mattress that you place down on the ground or floor directly and step on it. As this indicates the person is in hardship, you have to work like a cow, you won't get supporters, so you have to be on your own. Everything you want to do, also on your own. So, it is a hardship bed, we call it. So avoid having a mattress directly on the ground. Of course, it is fine if you have a platform that you can lay your bed on it. Just not to lay it straight on the ground. N number 8. Avoid using a double-decker bed. The double-decker bed usually will cause pressure. How? The one who sits on top will tend to have either too much ingo, always try to win, or in the reverse, 
they have lots of phobia in their life and will be scared to think or even to try something new. The one who sleep below will also have problems. The problem is they will always be used by someone or maybe manipulated, controlled by someone easily. And there will be a lot of pressure for the person who sleeps below. So avoid using a double-decker bed. Number 9. Single bed and double bed For those single person, maybe a single lady or a single guy who wants to have a relationship with someone, never ever get a single bed. Nani? It is recommended to have a double bed, then you can have relations. If you are going to stay on a single bed forever, it is kind of difficult to get a life partner or a good relationship. Same goes, if those children below 12 years old who have a double bed that he or she sleeps on, they will easily get early relationship with someone. So, for those kids who want to concentrate more on studies, for that moment, for the children, it is best to avoid double bed instead. So, they should go for a single bed. Number 10. Space Saving Bed A lot of people try to get the bed so as to save space. So, they have extra bed below the bed. Whenever they want to sleep, they just drag out the whole bed or either they have drawer under the bed that opens up and put clothes and other things to stuff in. This kind of bed, when there are something moving below, it will cause the person who sleep up there will have sexual harassment. So be careful if you want to crop this problem. It's best not to have this kind of bed. So this is the seven episode of 10 tips on bed bone poultry that I'm sharing with you guys today. Hope I have answered your doubts and you guys have benefited from this video. If you guys like to have more tips on feng shui, please click the like and share button for my Facebook or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll keep you guys posted with more information on feng shui. Thank you very much for joining me. Wish you guys have a great day ahead and we'll be seeing you soon. This is Master David Chen. Bye!